Hey guys, today we have a Cisco Access Point Model 371. We're going to check out what's inside the box and then we're going to do a little configuration. This is probably one of my favorite Cisco Access Points, not because it's the uh, most expensive or most powerful, but because it's a good uh, price to performance ratio and lots of features and it works really well. First thing out of the box is this uh, product information card it includes uh, setup guide URLs and warranty information. And next item in our list is the uh, quick setup guide that includes the uh, default login and password. In this case, it's Cisco Cisco. And we also have some compliance information and tech support numbers for different regions. That's all the documentation. So let's unpack all the items and go through each one individually. And first out of the box is your standard patch cable. This one's too short to be useful for anything. Next item is a couple of mounting screws. Note that Cisco used to ship four mounting screws. Now they've cut down to two. All right, next we have the mount and can be used to mount the access point to a wall or a ceiling. You do not need to use the mount if you're gonna be placing the access point on a desktop. And finally, we have the actual access point. We can see lots of venting holes in the back and side of the unit. And we have a power button which works with the 12 volt AC adapter. It does not work with the PoE injector or PoE switch. And we have the reset button. If you hold down for 10 seconds, you return the unit to factory defaults. LAN port is gigabit, but max transfer of the wireless is only 900 megabits. The LAN port is PoE Plus compatible and can take power from either a PoE Plus injector or a PoE Plus switch. The mount kit easily slides into a locking position. To release the access point, push the plastic tab away from the access point. I have moved the access point to my basement and connected to my home network. Right now it is being powered off my PoE Plus switch. While the access point is booting up, you will see the power LED blink. Once it's fully booted up, the LED will stop blinking. The LAN LED will be either green or amber, depending if it's connected to gigabit or 10 slash 100. Okay, let's uh, log into the access point. Uh, default username is Cisco. Default password is also Cisco. And we are going to use the setup wizard to set up this access point really quickly. We can assign a static IP address at this point, but I'm going to leave it on DHCP for now. You can cluster up to eight of these units. Uh, we only have one, so we're gonna choose the last option. And here we select our time zone and NTP server. Okay, this is where we set up a new password. You have the option of using a weaker password if you uncheck the password complexity option. And we get a warning about power requirements. As long as you use PoE plus injector or PoE plus switch, you should be okay. And here is where we enter the SSID for Radio 1, which is the 5G frequency. The next option is for security. I'm going to choose better security. This allows me to support older devices that might not support the latest and greatest standards. In the security field, enter your password phrase. Uh, choose something that's uh, easy to remember but hard to guess. And our final option is the VLAN tag setting. Leave it with the default. I am going to fast forward over the next section. I will create the second SSID on radio two and I will create a guest network. It's basically the same setup that we've gone with the first radio. And the final option is to hit submit and apply all the settings. The final thing we are going to do is update the firmware. 
the current version installed on the access point is 1304. We're going to go to Cisco's website and download the latest. Under Administration, Manage Firmware, select Choose File and pick the file that we just downloaded and hit the Upgrade button. The upgrade process will take approximately six minutes and the access point will reboot itself and we will have to log in again. And we are back. If we log in and check the status page, we should be on 1306 now. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.